hi guys welcome to my videos so guys uh, those who apply for indian e-visa they know that the process is pretty simple you just go online on the official website again be careful because there are so many fraudulent websites too but when you apply uh, over there like uh, it's very easy to get but there's a question that comes up and especially that is applicable to uh, former indian citizens mostly those who have traveled to India before an Indian passport. There is a question that have you traveled to India before? And if you select no, it's fine. But if you select yes, it asks for the visa details. Now, let's say you are an Indian citizen. You hold Indian passport. You come to Canada. You get Canadian citizenship. You get Canadian passport. You surrender your Indian passport. And you are yet to apply for OCI. But due to whatever reason in the world, you got to travel to India. Urgent reasons can surface anytime, right? So, what you do? You apply for an e-visa. Quickest way to get. So, uh, you so you come across this question now here people get confused whether we should enter yes or no if you select yes then it asks for the previous visa details but previously when you visited india you did not have a visa right you were a citizen so you were holding a passport so what to do so i found many people those who had answered no in this situation and have traveled successfully but just to make it 200 percent sure I wanted to confirm it with authorities. So I sent an email to e-visa support team as you can see and I asked hello I recently acquired Canadian citizenship and have surrendered my Indian passport. When I'm trying to apply e-visa there is a question about past travel to India. If I check yes it asks for visa details but I have never used a visa to travel India because I was an Indian citizen before born in India and used Indian passport. Please suggest if I need to enter no in this looking forward for your guidance. To my surprise, I got the response pretty quick and the, and the response is here in front of dear sir madam. If you don't have the last visa information, then you may click the no option in the given question. So this clarifies. So I hope this is going to help a lot of people. Thanks for watching this. Please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.